families will finally be able to see how Buzz Lightyear got his wings to become... How Buzz Lightyear <laughs> got his wings. Yeah! There, and look at this as well. I know, this is a really fancy one. Look at this. This is going to blow your mind. It's got, look. look. Can you see it's got... It's got look, look at, at that, that! Look at that! I didn't know it did that. I know. It's the coolest thing. Yeah, so, um, so <laughs> we, uh, you want to know uh, how he it was a space ranger for Star Command. Um, it's uh, Pixar's eagerly awaited prequel to Toy Story. It's light year. Well, Chris Evans lends his voice to Buzz and Taika Waititi introduces us to space ranger Mo Morrison. Oh, it looks so good. I can't wait to go and see it with the kids. Uh, we're delighted to say that Chris Evans and Taika Waititi join us now. Welcome to the show, both of you. Thank you for being here. And we should start by saying happy birthday, first of all, Chris. It is your birthday today. That's right, it is. Thank you so much. Happy birthday, Chris. <laughs> what, what a way to spend Did you your just birthday. find out then, Taika? Did you just find out? <laughs> 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 I knew. I'm a good friend. I already knew. Of course, of, of course. course. How are you? Spent, so, other than doing probably hundreds of back-to-back -back interviews, um, how are you spending your birthday? Do you have plans? No, my my plans are this: we have we have a lot of interviews. We have a premiere tonight, uh, and then you know I have a few friends here in London. So right. hopefully later tonight we can. Have some fun. Good, 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 good. good, good. good, good. Well, this, um, uh, the movie, I mean, it's really the story that we all wanted to know. We've watched the Toy Story movies. We'd seen Andy, the little boy who was obsessed with suddenly looking up in space and this character, Buzz Lightyear. And this is, this is the story that they all watched and that's the reason they wanted the toy. Yeah, that's right. That, that's exactly how Angus, uh, our director, uh, pitched it to me. He said... Uh, he said that he grew up loving Star Wars. He was a Star Wars fanatic. He had all the toys. All of his friends were obsessed. His father took him to every new, every new movie. And, and when he first saw the first Toy Story and when Andy got a Buzz Lightyear toy, you know, all of his friends knew who Buzz Lightyear was. And then they were so excited to have him. And he wondered what was the movie that Andy and his friends had seen that mm. made Buzz Lightyear so iconic. So... This is that movie. It's a genius idea um, because, as yes. you say, you know, you right. wonder wonder w what his story was and who he was. And he's actually um, quite a complex character, isn't he? I mean, he's one of those guys that, you know, sort of always seems to want something that he can't quite have. Well, sure, I hope so, yeah. I, I would imagine that I, I, the, the hope is that he's someone that... You know, albeit a space ranger and albeit someone who is, uh, you know, uh, a clear leader and someone you look up to, um, the hope is that he's incredibly identifiable, that he has a lot of human qualities that, that we can connect with, that, that he makes mistakes and he feels regret and shame and, and, and has a tendency to, to live in those mistakes. And, and I think that's something we can all identify with. Mm, yeah. Objective. <laughs> no, easy. Just you know, <laughs> the mirror. Um, Taika, just explain your character then, because you play Mo. So who is that? So Mo is the standout star of the film. <laughs> 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 Tried. Um, so Mo is part of um, a group called the Junior Zap Patrol. They're not quite at the uh, level of being professional um, zap patrollers. Um, they're just um, the underlings who, um, who are just trainees. And um, Buzz finds himself um, teamed up with these guys who are the lowest of the low in, you know, on the ladder and, and he's the best of the best. And so he's got to, you know, he's got to make something out of this team of, um, you know, of, like of misfits. It's like the, this interview. Like this interview. You're, you're, you're pulling me up, um, you're carrying me, and I'm just pulling you down, as usual. <laughs> but, you know, somehow together it works and it makes a perfect team. You know, it's like by himself, would it work? No. Uh, you need someone like me just to balance things out. <laughs> and, uh, and also, you, uh, I mean, you're a very proud New Zealander and you get to use your own accent. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am proud. Um, when we don't do anything embarrassing, but um, yeah, the, um, the and the accent, it's great. Weirdly, I've been able to um, sustain this career literally just using my own accent, and um, I don't know how that happened. <laughs> Somehow people just started being able to understand it. 
Um, Chris. Silence. Someone's translating what I just said. I didn't understand what you said there for a second, but it's okay. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, but I, I did actually. I, I lived in New Zealand for yeah, four, that's true. four years. So, um, so just it's a beautiful country. <laughs> I still don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a beautiful country. Four years. What happened? Uh, <laughs> that was enough. <laughs> We either kicked you out or you got bored, like me. <laughs> oh. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. You came back, no, didn't you? You kept... started your first um, TV show I started show in TV over there. Over there TV and, uh, and then, yeah, so... Um, and then uh, came yeah, back. And, and came back after that. I got all... This, the reason I'm here now is all of New Zealand's fault. Oh, the tables have turned. The tables have turned with this interview. Yeah, it's all about you now. Yeah. yeah, let's not talk about me. Let's yeah. talk about you. Well, I wanted you, actually, Chris, to ask you that very first time that you got to say that iconic phrase, to infinity and beyond because the thing is I guess with a role like his Tim Allen's voice is always in our head and obviously we're taking Buzz back to the very beginning and it's a, it's a, it's different in in so many ways but the first time you said that it must be hard not to hear his voice in your head yeah sure his his voice is in my head too I mean the first few sessions I had it was just a Tim Allen impression um, because he he did such phenomenal work that, that that's why we even made this movie because of the phenomenal, iconic work that Tim Allen did. Yeah. So, so luckily, I was able to use his work as a blueprint. I mean, the character is supposed to be the kind of upstream character of, of who Tim Allen created. So I'd be a fool to not use his yeah. choices as, as a guideline. Um, but, but yeah, it's, it's big shoes to fill because, honestly, it's, that's we all love what he did. Yeah. Tim Allen is Buzz Lightyear. There's no changing that. So, so you have to kind of... Uh, respect what he did and, and pay homage to, to what he did while still finding a way to make it somewhat your own. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, technically, let's think about it, in the actual official timeline of when the film was made and then the toy came out, technically, technically. Chris did it first. <laughs> and then Tim Allen did yeah. a copy voice of Chris <laughs> for the toy. Basically, basically, stop copying me, Tim Allen. <laughs> basically. <laughs> Um, it's uh, one, my one day. coming out of my ear. Yours is fine. I've got mine, a big, mine's in there. I've, mine got, a real, I've got a big ear hole in this. He's got a it out. <laughs> It's always been my problem. <laughs> as long as you can right. That's why I keep going like this, like I'm a security guard. Yeah. Are you right? Is, is it in? Yeah, as long as you can hear it. You, okay? you, you, you want me to get rid of this guy? Yeah. 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 Um, one day, one day, th th this question won't need to be asked. One day, it will just be a thing that is completely a without a, uh, a need for conversation. There is an LGBTQ uh, storyline here, which was a little bit controversial because uh, there is a, a same-sex kiss. It was taken out uh, and uh, and and it got put back in again. So, what what's happened around here? What here? Well, I mean, it's in, no. right? It's in, which is no. great. And you're right. You know, one day it'd be so nice, just you know, to not even that for this not even to be a talking point, or like to go and watch a movie where that's just accepted. And yeah. you know, I know that I've heard that you know, you know, there's even one or two countries who you know are still it's 2022, and they still you know have got reactions to just to that idea. Yeah. Um, of a same-sex couple, and um, look, crazy, it's it? too bad they get to watch the film. Yeah. It's a great film. Yeah, yeah, it's their loss, isn't it? Um, we saw in the clip there that we just played another new character to this, which is the cat, Socks, this kind of robotic cat that helps Buzz, a sort of like a therapy cat, if you like. Completely adorable oh, wow. and cute. Chris, we know you are sorry, predominantly a dog kind of guy with the interview recently that you did. Um, but you've got to give a bit of love to that cat. It's extremely cute. Yeah, yeah, they, they did a really good job with that cat, didn't yeah. they? I mean, look, I, I'm a cat lover. I'm an animal lover, really. Um, you know, in, in terms of, you know, what I want in my house, I'll, I'll probably take a dog. I just kind of like the dog energy. But but I have, I have no, uh, you know, I, I got nothing but love for cats. I, I respect <laughs> them. I think they're beautiful creatures. Being very um, diplomatic. You know, to be honest, yeah. I don't think they like me. I, I feel like they look at me with, with a certain level of uh, apprehension that, that makes me doubt myself. Cats are arrogant. <laughs> they're backstabbers. <laughs> Not so diplomatic. And they're know-it-alls. <laughs> arrogant Cats are the ones who text 
cats text about you behind your back and stuff. They all want to hang out with you and they pretend they love you, then they go off their friends and they're like, oh, that guy's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, guys. Thank you, Love guys. You um, so uh, so uh, we've congratulated uh, Christmas birthday, uh, Taika. So uh, are, are there wedding bells? You can congratulate me. It's in yeah. August. I'm coming I'm, in August. Well, before, you can talk, let's just talk about my birthday. Right. What, are you breaking up? What? Sorry, <laughs> can't wait. So, can't. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Do you want Fair me enough. not? Shall, shall I not ask about Rita? I think he can't. I think he can't hear us. He can't. I think that is, that is that. Um, Regardless, she's gorgeous. We love her here. Um, she's always a great guest. And congratulations. Thank you so much, both of you. Lovely Thanks, your time. Bye -bye. Uh, the, Bye -bye. the film. Yeah. If you are a parent, the seventeenth of June. It is out. Lightyear. Thank you.